What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Everdue here. I welcome you back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Gen Lock. As you guys know, this is potentially going to be an hour of power. I hope that we just have a good time. We're getting through the Aether Foundation. Uh, no matter what happens in today's episode, we should be getting through that. We got Nanu that we have to take on first. Nani? Nanu? What? But anyway, let's go through a quick team recap because uh, lots of things happened in episode 32 because this is episode 33, the triple threes. Imagine if I literally ended this episode at 33 minutes and 33 seconds. That sounds like a great idea, but I don't think we're going to get through the Aether Foundation in that quick of time. So we got Nick with the spell tag, Photon Geyser, Moon Geyser, Beam, Earth Power, Amnesia. Feta because it's going to fit a sweep with Photon Geyser, Discharge, Waterfall, and Moon Blast. Maybug, the low tad Lombre. The low tad Lombre. Uh, it was a low time when we caught it. So, Energy Ball, Magnitude, Skull, and Hydro Pump. We got Joey with that full metal body with low sweep. Sacred Power, Secret Power, Darkest Lariat, Storm Throw. We got Hash Brown, the Infernape with Queenly Majesty, Will O Wisp, Sacred Sword, Fire Dance, and Folk, or Fire Punch. And we got Tube the Tyranitar Tube um, with Ice Punch, Sacred Sword, Bone Rush, and Cross Poison. Thank you guys so much. Um, this is the team. Let's go ahead and beat Nanu um, with it. I think that we are going to go ahead and lead with our boy Hash Brown. Um, you know, that Expert Bell kind of feeling feeling like a good thing. Feeling like it could be very good if we do that. So, Hash Brown, we're going to try you out. One of our new members, but you know what? It happens, you know. We added Hash Brown and... That, that actually is our newest member, technically, because we added Hash Brown right after um, the other new member, <laughs> which I can't remember the name of already. We just did a tier recap, and your boy can't remember the freaking name. So, obviously, a lot of you guys are going to be asking, why are you recording the entirety of the Anthem Foundation in one episode? Answer, that's super easy. Basically... There's no PCs in the Aether Foundation. And the only way to preserve my Mega, we made the right choice, let's go. The only way to preserve my Mega, unless I wanted to go in and like do some hackity hacking, would be, why are you, oh, your ace is 51, that's right. Um, Is to do it this way. So I would rather do it the more honest way. Uh, let's go! Queenly Majesty coming in clutch already, trying to fake out, no, 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 no. Not gonna happen. If you guys didn't know, as you guys now know, Queenly Majesty protects me from fake out, quick attack, stuff like that. So it is <laughs> that 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 worked out beautifully. We're gonna fire dance one more time. Get this boy, Hash Brown, up some levels. Let's go, Hash Brown, is doing the beautiful premiere. Let's go, Hash Brown. Um, dude, Hash Browns actually sound really good right now. Although. They don't sound as good because, let's go, Delibird. My sister the other day made, I swear to God, some of the best freaking mozzarella sticks ever. Like, it was Cheetos. I don't know what kind of Cheetos it was. I think it was just normal Cheetos. I might be wrong. I probably am wrong. Um, and, like, she did it. Like, the cheese. Oh, Delibird's got Earthquake for some reason. But, anyway, she did a really good job on that. And, you know, put it in the deep. Oh, the Delibird. Shady, let's not. Um, but yeah, no, she did an amazing job. Shout out to Bree. Um, also, you guys might be seeing her soon because I'm hoping that when we do our 1K celebration, which is probably it's gonna be soon, but I gotta schedule it out because this is gonna be a 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. stream. It's like a sleep log, but not a sleep log. Um, I gotta find a way to keep my room cold because uh, we're gonna be in there the entire time. Um, trying to get the Wii set up. Wii fix. Oh my gosh, let's go! Hash Brown just takes out this entire section. We'll take it. Um, so yeah, so there's a lot of things that still need to be figured out when it comes to that. But I'm excited because we're 10 away as of recording. 10 subscribers away from 1,000. 10 away from monetization. We're gonna have to get out of here because, uh, Power Gem actually... Oh, that actually doesn't do more than half. Okay. Sacred Sword should kill. I would assume. Because it did 50 damage. So, barring a crit, we're fine. Let's go. And that should kill. Yeah, because... you Like, 
The thing about the Mon that we're using right now is it's a very much an attacker. It does not defend well at all. So it'll be a, a potion thing. Oh my god! Another thing that we can take out pretty handily. Um, although... Luckily, we do know the moveset. La... Oh, Joey, that's the other one. Uh, I, I love how our team is just growing and continuing to get better. Um, I'm going to go into Nick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this safe play. Only because... Oh, wait, it's got Dark Slariant. What am I doing? I'm going to make the safe play. We just saw that it had Dark Slariant, but the safe play is totally to go into something that is weak to Dark Slariant. No, honestly, though, we should Oko it, so as much as it's not the safe play anymore, I should have gone into Fitta. Oh, we are faster. Okay. Yeah, that should be an Oko. As expected. So the Ace is about to come out. The level 51 should be coming out here. Re oh, no. Reggie Gigas is the ace. Um, exclamation point luck in the chat. No, okay, it's not the ace. Good, good. So I'm lucky that it's not the ace. We had Sacred Sword, we can kill it. Um, baby doll eyes. Oh, that's nothing. No worries. No worries. But anyway, yeah, no. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day as always. Um, I can't believe I was at 1k and you know, once we hit it, we'll try and schedule a date. A lot of the date scheduling has to go along with the work schedule and that's going to be the hardest part. If I'm going to be fair and honest, like that's going to be the hardest part is looking at the work schedule and be like, oh, boom, that's a good day. We can do it because it's all over the place. And because I want this to be such a big a, a big event with people and hanging out with, like, people. And it's like a cultivation of our journey. Because, you know, we've been doing this for seven years. Over seven years now. Seven and a half. Um, as of February 18th, uh, we will have been doing this for seven and a half years. So, kind of a long time. Kind of a... It's, and, you know, this 1K thing, it's kind of... It's insane to think about that we're approaching that number um and monetization is about to be a thing like it's gonna be kind of insane like i would have never especially this year right this year we have made a jump massively now does monthlock contribute to that of course monthlock contributes to that because monthlock Actually, funny story. I went to go do tags for the Ultra Moon, Sun and Moon Cage vlog. And if you guys didn't see it <clears throat> over or on Twitter, because I post a lot on Twitter uh, and kind of let you guys know what's going on, how things are going. I went to go tag it. Monthlock, the search term Monthlock, is grouped with Ryan, Frank, and Vinny. Not Dylan, but Ryan, Frank, and Vinny is where it's grouped. And that's insanity to me. Okay, I'm going to actually get rid of will o -Wisp. Willowis has low accuracy and King Shield is nice. It's like protect but lowers the attack if I get attacked. Um, but yeah, like it's kind of a insane thing to think about that we are in the in that realm or that specific search term is in that realm. Like, and yes, is that a once in a lifetime series? Of course it is. I, <laughs> I don't know about you. Like some people might do it, um, but I don't think anybody would. I think we're gonna still be the only people to do it. And like Frank and Ryan were talking about potentially doing it in 2021. And they were going to do, like, it with the both of them every single game. We were joking around with them. We're like, if you're going to do it, you have to do green. Ha, ha, ha. Because they were talking about doing red, blue, yellow, blah, 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 blah. And they completely forgot green. But uh, it's just funny to me that, like, we might have started something. It's weird. Um, It's weird to think about. But, you know, like, somebody like us being able to affect and touch the lives of the amount of people that we do on a consistent basis, like, it's kind of crazy because I actually had a high school friend contact me the other, like, and talk about how, you know, she just found the channel, she's been subbed for a couple months, and, like, talked about how, like, you know, she's seen a lot of the stuff that I've been doing, and it's definitely crazy to think about, like, 
that that reach and especially from Mudflock and from things of from the crazy things and the awesome things that we get to do as a community um and we we're just this is the stepping stone right you know did it was it a hard grind a hard push of course but in order to get where you want to be that hard push and that hard grind is gonna have to happen at some point um whether it be school like school something that i you know would always recommend and trying your best and doing your best in the school is important um and forever will be um and there's just a whole bunch of there's a slew of situations where being and trying your best and putting in the work and the effort is going to get you somewhere motivation is key um <laughs> as much as you know some, i may be unmotivated sometimes where i'm just like Ugh like and mentally drained and like everything else i'm not oh well that's a fight that i didn't see but yeah so like that, that happens right everybody's gonna have those days but being able to push through and persevere and do a whole bunch of like cool things like that and like show that you're willing to do something Ooh, sylveon um it's always a good thing and always something that you should strive to do um but yeah so let's see i don't know what we're gonna do with the Sylvia though, because we don't have anything for you, because naturally we don't. Um, you're gonna raise my physical attack, because you're definitely a special defender. Mm. Joey's weak. Tyranitar Sheep is weak. We actually struggle with this Mon a little more than I would like to admit. So I guess we gotta stay in with Hash Brown because. Yikes. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and fire punch you. I don't really feel like I need to scout, considering it's going to be special moves that it hits me with anyways. Um, Missy, to oh, I'm down with that. Don't hit me then. Good. Although, that does raise the power of the fairy type moves. We are neutral to it, so I'm not 100% worried, but it is something I got to look into and think about before doing anything. Sweet kiss. Oh. Pokemon AI for you. Let's set up a terrain where we can't be status and no Pokemon can be status next turn. Let's try to status my opponent. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a great idea. Um, ooh, Vanillax, uh, dead. <laughs> More like Vanilla dead. Um, but yeah. Oh, that looks like a shiny, but it's definitely not. What does shiny vanilla look like? I feel like it looks like, is it like Rainbow Sherbert? No, it's not because that's what Dylan's look like. The random things that sometimes I recall. Okay. Well, like I said, I'm trying to get through the Aether, Aether Foundation and see if we can get through it as kind of a kind of a quick rinse thing. Oh boy. Because we are basically uh close to par. Uh par for Lucimine is 54. She'll be 54 across the board. So because of that, we do still need to do some of these battles, but we got people like Faba who have six mons. We got Stupid Guzma again, who has six mons. This boy has a shiny Lugia, by the way. Um, <laughs> so, oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> Not expecting that. Um, who? Lugia is a. Well, duh. L of course, Lugia is a problem. Lugia what, would never not be a problem. Let's be honest here. Uh, this is the bulkiest Pokemon. Well, actually, no, that's a lie. Cresselia has the bulkiest Pokemon. But this is a contender, for sure, uh, for being one of the... Naturally. Of course, you have Reflect. Watch this do like 20% now. Let's go! Your boy knows his calcs, sadly. Brutal Swing will do nothing to me. Seven, look at that. Look at that low damage, but yeah, no, it's definitely insane to the, like, the growth and the support from the community. It's kind of refreshing to see, for sure. Um, and, you know, we're, we basically have our watch hours. We, actually, not basically, we, uh, we will have our watch hours. Um, so it's definitely insane to, like, mentally think about and be like, wow, you have done it. You've done what... A lot of people never really thought you could do. Um, 
and now we're here we're getting monetization we're growing as a channel we're supporting people every day um one thing i do love about our channel is the channel diversity and everything that we got on the channel like one out of four people who are watching the content are females which is very rare for the kind of content that i create right i create a very male uh or what is seen to be a very male dominated game and a male dominated platform so the fact that 25 percent of my audience are female is awesome and i thoroughly support it and of course and i just i appreciate it i like everybody giving me the chance and another misty train user that's okay um, and then in terms of age as well, th the highest mark is between the 18 and 24 age range, and that's 36%. And that's my highest number. The rest are like, we have like the 24 to 27 age group who accounts for like 20 some odd percent, the 35, you know, the 35 to 40 who accounts for a good percentage. Like, it's insane. Like, because I can even actually look it up. Because it's amazing to kind of see those numbers. I was watching uh, the Burr, so I gotta make sure I don't play the Burr on accident. Um, that should be dead, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, currently at yeah, 990, which is freaking wild. Comments, uh, I've answered all of them, or at least most of them. Let's see. Discovery, that's, yeah, that's what I'm looking for, I think. No, audience. Yeah, so here we are. So, the 13 to 17 age range accounts for 18.9%, or not 18.9, 8.9% of my audience. 35 to 39%, or 35.9%, or 30, Jesus, I can't talk, is my... Whoa! Okay, there! That actually was good. Um, I liked that. Hold on. What was that? Like... I was not expecting that. That's probably why I liked it so much. Um, but 35.9% of my audience is that 18 to 24 age range. So, you're a, the, my age group. Yeah. Oh, she's going. Yeah. Okay. That would be a major cut. <laughs> Yeah, and so it's kind of crazy to, like, look at our audience. Like, the 25 to 34-year-olds make up 22.7, and 35 to 44 make 22%, which is insane as well to see those numbers and see the, like, the climbing. And then you got, you know, the 45 and up make up another 10%. And it's definitely cool, to say the least, to see that, that like, the numbers and how all that works and the fact that that, that like, how diverse the audience is. Um, like you get so many different perspectives on everything and it's just, it's beautiful, uh, beautiful to see, beautiful to like, to continue to like, oh, whoop. I'm going to get the TM cause it's for toxic because we definitely don't want toxic stall. I'm joking. We can't because it's not for toxic. Um, it's originally for toxic so you can toxic stall because you know, toxic stall this, this was the generation where they taught you that Toxic Stall is okay, which is so dumb because it's totally not. I hate Toxic Stall. Um, okay, that's a lie. I love Toxic Stall <laughs> in competitive, like in PU competitive. Um, and I am that guy that's like, let me just Toxic Stall real quick. That sounds like a great idea. Um, golfer employee, gotta have some. Okay, we have a Groudon. Well, at least it's not primal. It could have been worse. It really could have been. Um, but you're ground type, so uh, yeah, I gotta eat myself out of this terrible situation. Go into a Maybug. Which, I mean, hey, it's not a fire ground type. And it doesn't have its dumb ability. So primal ground on actually will not be a problem. Um, because its dumb ability will not be a, uh, in effect. That special attack raise, definitely what we needed, to be fair. Um, but we are indeed... Oh, wait. Does, Mag does Magnitude hit under the ground, too? Like, oh. We're slower. Didn't think we were slower. Well, oof. That doesn't help. That's not going to do anything. This is going to be like 18%. Oh, that did like really nothing. <laughs> Oopsies. I just got a Hydro Pump because I didn't realize that... Oh, you're going to use Horn Leech on me now. 
Okay. Well, Hydro Pump better hit because if Hydro Pump doesn't hit, I'm in trouble. Bloop! Get dead. One shot, Groudon. How do you like me one shot? <laughs> By Ludicolo. Uh, I, you know what? I always say it. Ludicolo is definitely one of the best um, mons when it comes to Nuzlocke mons. So it's amazing to kind of see the, one of the better Nuzlocke mons be on my team for once in my life. Um, you've received $2,500 for winning. Nice. Ooh. Um, Hyper Potion. Let's go ahead and heal Maybug. And, yeah, we're going to get the show on the road here. We're going to go ahead and get the TM for Toxic, which is going to be a move we can't use. Yes, Queen. We definitely like moves that we literally can't use. It's the best. Um, That really sucks, though. Like, I was really kind of hoping that we'd get a good TM out of that. No. No. But that's, you know what? It happens. It yabba dabba do be like that sometimes. But we are just like I thought. Faba locked it. We got to go up. Um, and we have to fight Faba. Yes. Uh, fighting Faba is actually going to be a pain in the butt. And I'm actually really worried for it. But we're going to pretend like we're not worried about Faba at all. Because we fight Faba first now. And then we fight Faba again. Later. Let's go! I love this music. I gotta turn it up. If I can. Oh yeah, I can. Okay. I'm glad I could turn it up, actually. That makes me very happy. I didn't realize I was that low. Oh! We're gonna leave with a Mega Bayonet. Of course we are. Naturally, we're gonna leave with a freaking mega bayonet. Um, uh oh, uh oh, stinky. Level 49 mega bayonet. Okay, I do need to turn it down though because I'm gonna get super loud if it's that loud. Um, which I'll turn back up this. Okay. But yeah, like, uh oh, stinky. Level 49 mega bayonet to lead off this battle. Tyranitar Tube, go! You have. Terrible moves for this thing, but we don't have anything to counteract ghost types. Woo! Uh, am I not surprised that I'm gonna have a problem with the ghost type? No, I'm not. Oh, I forgot. Hypnosis actually hits through dark type, and it's so dumb. Uh, to me, I feel like hypnosis, since it's classified as a psychic type move, shouldn't be able to hit dark types. But that might be just me. Awakening, utilize it. We have six of them for a reason. What are you gonna use now, though? Nightmare. Ooh! He was actually gonna utilize a good strat. I'm proud. Thank you so much for subscribing in the video, Dennis Wagner. Hopefully I had a fantastic day. I didn't realize I had my alerts on the screen until literally now. <laughs> Woo! If you wanna be just like him and subscribe today. Um, that was hilarious. Oh my God. I. I might have to cut out the freaking layout just for the freaking fun of that. Um, but yeah, if you want to become just like him and subscribe today, that would be phenomenal. Get us to that 1K mark. We're so close. <laughs> like, you can't prep these things. Like, there's nothing that you can do to really, like, I just didn't realize I had it on there, but when when the Hoo Hoo video just decides it wants to make a freaking resurgence for no reason, it wants to make a resurgence. So, but I think that Daniel Walker, I actually know him from somewhere. Oh, Dennis Wagner. That's not what I was, okay, I'm dumb. I'm like, I know Daniel Walker, but like, Dennis Wagner, I do not. So thank you again for the subscription and the awesome cameo. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay, Bone Rush is all the only thing we can do, unfortunately. Hypno You're going to put me to sleep again? Okay, jeez. I was going to say, if I freaking... I don't even know if I kill Bayonet unless I hit four times. 
No, I just hit the bare minimum that I can. Because that's only natural. But yeah, no. So, yeah. I mean, dude, that's that's it. Now we're at 991. Ah! <laughs> like, <laughs> nine away. Nine away. Oh, that's insane. Live art. I definitely want to have see this happen live with you guys, though. And it's it might not. I might. Because who, who video? Hey, shiny light board. Because who, who video is actually making a resurgence? <laughs> it might actually happen while I'm asleep. Oh. Uh. Okay. Dude, I was actually really scarily still. Like, I was stunned. That officially stunned me. Um, like, my video was definitely not broken. I was just that still. Um, crap. Who's ready for more training? Uh, totally me. Yes. Um, anyway, I'm so not excited. So that means I have to freaking, depending on the state of our team, I might have to go all the way back and pull Mons. This area is literally the area of death. That's what I'm titling this episode, by the way. The area of death. Because that's what it is. Like, it never ceases to amaze me how many mons die here of all places. Like, I swear. This is, like, this is the dead zone of all Pokemon. And this is supposed to be the... the, the it's kind of ironic that the area, for, the, the area for Pokemon conservation is the area that I struggle the most at. Because I can't conserve my Pokemon here. Um... Okay, <laughs> that was a terrible joke, but I made it. Um, uh, the issue with this mon is it could be like s s one of six different things. I'm going to go ahead and stay in. Rotom Grass. Okay. That sucks because the two moves that I have are <laughs> resisted. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. Fida. Oh, boy. Oh no. That was a big yikes. And Sludge Bomb on a Rotom Grass is actually horrendous for me to see. I'm gonna go ahead and go into our boy. Oh, if that was if you pursued me, I would have been so mad. Or had arena trap or anything. That could have been terrible. But it's gonna go and oh god. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Faba! How about not a Faba? Oh boy. Um. I have, oh, I don't even have a full restore. Um. Oh boy. Um. I don't even know what to do. We don't have a full restore. And we definitely don't live two. I'm gonna heal up with a hyper potion. Hope you miss a thunder. Oh my god, the amount of workarounds in this episode. Okay. Miss the thunder, miss the thunder, miss the thunder. Nope. Dude, if you have no guard. If you have no guard, that actually would be so good. Yeah, nope. I can't I can't live two with Hash Brown. And Thunder's too too scary. Um Hmm. Thunder is neutral here. I think I gotta go into Nick. Uh, why does it have to be the one that I literally am weakest to, by the way? I mean, if it wasn't a paralyzed, I still wouldn't I wouldn't be in this scenario, but because Thunder got the para, we're in a terrible situation. Thunder, you might actually be a no dude. No guard Rotom. Can we not? Can we not with a no guard Rotom, please? I would appreciate it. Photom Geyser. I should have amnesia. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I really should have amnesia there. Photom Geyser should do a lot, though, hopefully. Solar Beam is stab. I'm going to amnesia, though. Because this is 150 base power to 110. It's enough of a difference to probably get me into trouble. Yeah. But I will live, so. And you have, I've seen all special moves from this thing, so. You might be a four special attack. 
Rotom Grass. Which is actually a competitive moveset, which kind of scares me. But, you know, I'm, like, I'm not going to lie. That does scare me that you have Thunder and Solar Beam. But, like, and a crit will hurt. It will be devastating. But I guess not to the severity of which I should be too worried. Because now a crit won't kill. Yeah. Well, I mean, now I don't have to worry about healing my Mega Tyranitar Mega. Um, uh, what am I going to replace, though? Gen 2. So I've got Gen... Oh, my God. Volcarona. This battle is not getting any better. This battle really isn't getting any better. Volcarona? I gotta go into Maybug, but Maybug's weak to this thing. Volcarona, you better have a better physical defense, please. I spare me. Have a better physical defense. Dang, yeah, I figured, but I'm gonna go ahead and Scald. That's our best option here. Pollen Puff, that's a bug type move. That's 90 base power. That's gonna hurt like a truck. Um, burn won't affect this thing, so I don't really care if it gets a burn or not. We still haven't gotten a burn from Scald, which is kind of scary. Um, oh my gosh, Pollen Puff actually does way too much. I'm gonna go ahead and go to Joey. Joey doesn't have Fluffy, so I don't have to worry about that random thing. Um, and Pollen Puff will do absolutely nothing to Joey. Should do like 34 points of damage. You know what? I was close. Ah, I'm gonna go ahead and Dark Solariant though. That should do enough to kill. See, oh, Searing Shot. Okay. Well, actually, I, I knew that was coming. I knew a fire move was gonna happen. Oh my god, this is actually an intense fight. We love it over here. We love intense fights. Um, okay, Volcarona is down. What's coming out? <laughs> Let's go, Love Disc. Okay, Love Disc is coming out. Thank goodness. Thank goodness it's Love Disc. Um, because that could have been so bad if it was a, a, like an actual really tough Pokemon that. Woo! The pressure gets taken off your bag when you see that. Okay, love this. Special, 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 special. Dang it. But we are going to energy ball this thing to death. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. I mean, luckily it's a love disc. But like, John, make sure you heal before you attack things. Because that was an easy heal opportunity that you just wasted. Okay, what else is there? I'm assuming you have just terrible monster from here on out. Stack up. I'm assuming you have terrible mods from here on out. Are you sure about that? I got stack attack a boy. Of course you do. Um, Well, actually, low sleep will do just fine. So Joey just needs to live a hit, needs to tank a hit, and we will be okay. Come on, Joey. Let's show, show me what you're made of, Joey. Oh, I was kind of hoping for a shiny stack attack. I'm not going to lie. Bro, this man's team was stacked, though. Like... That scares me when you see, like, that much of a stacked team, and you're like, uh, how do I handle this? What do you, Flash Cannon? Ooh. Okay, special steel move. Not terrible, especially because stack attack is definitely more of a physical attacker. And I'm going to go ahead and low sweep you, because that's going to be 150 base power. Quick law popped. Didn't really matter, because we were faster anyway. This should Oko. If this doesn't, I'll be surprised. I mean, okay, I'm not actually that surprised because you're just that bulky of a Pokemon. Wait, is Low Sleep the one I'm thinking about? Low Sleep might not be the move I'm thinking about. It is not this one I'm thinking about. I'm thinking, what am I? What's the one that like does more damage if you're like heavier? Is that Low Kick? It might be Low Kick. Because low-key, I don't know the low kick. Um, Hydro Cannon. I'm assuming that's Maybug learning that. No, it's Nick. Sorry, you're not learning Hydro Cannon. That move is on my list of exiled. So, yeah, no. Uh, that is exiled from everything. Maybug and Hash Brown leveling up a couple levels. Theta up to level 54. Yikes. Okay. 
Dude, we have a double battle coming up. <laughs> John. Promises an hour of power. Uh, we don't need to do an hour of power now. No, uh, we have to. This is gonna be a tough one. And he's gonna jet us down. I could have said no and probably would have been able to go grab another Pokemon, but honestly, I'm fine right now. I think we'll get through those three Pokemon because they have literally one Pokemon each. Then I come up. Then we have the double battle with Faba. Then I can go heal. Uh, don't get, you're going to give me useless item, aren't you? I hate you. I hate you, Hal. I hate you. We just lost him on. Don't get me useless item, please. Like how I just basically knew that was happening. Okay, so I know we get a chance to heal. So I'm going to take that opportunity. Wow, we actually are going to utilize every single potion, aren't we? We truly are. Okay. Leechy berry, huh? That's actually convenient for the amount of attackers that we have. Antidote, please. Hashbound gets carried to paralysis. Okay. We got a team of five. We got four mons to go against, each of which will probably be level, I think they're 47. So. Should be okay. They might be 50. No, because loose means level 47 normally, so. They might they might be level 50. Well, they're either 47 to 50. They're somewhere in that range. Um, we're gonna send out it's a token of you. Nice. We'll take that as the W. That's a big W. Okay, they are level 47, as I said they were. Um, I don't know if you're a better physical bulkiness or better special bulkiness, but... Oh, well, now you're better physical bulkiness no matter what, so... That fire punch should do a lot, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, we got the burn! I like how we get a burn with fire punch, but we haven't yet got one from Skull. And fire punch is 10% versus Skull's 30 and we've had Scald way longer. Okay, we're gonna fire dance. Get that special attack raise, please. Dude, I love how mixed. I love having an Infernape on the team. Aaron, uh, I have an Infernape on your on the team, and I love it. Um, I don't know why I wasted a fire dance because all these mofos are gonna have one Pokemon. Um, the only problem with Infernape that I'm gonna see that I already know I'm gonna have a problem with is the fact that it's not bulky and we have a double battle. And one side is going to have six in this double battle. Um, so that might be a little bit of an issue. Clefable. Oh, boy. Let's not. Let's not say we ran into Clefable. I think that there was actually a Clefable in Monthlock in this exact spot. Oh, my gosh. There was. Because Clefable ended up devastating half of my team. Why do I remember this so uh, vividly? Because, well, one, Mufflock was just recent. And two, because when you destroy my team, you get remembered. Um, I've got nothing for this type. I actually don't have anything for this typing. And you are definitely more specially bulky. I'm gonna go ahead and King Shield first to kind of see, kind of see what kind of play they're trying. It's trying to run. Flying press. That's actually super hard if you get to me. So, I'm glad we King Shielded up there. And I am gonna go ahead and Fire Dance this thing 
because I know you're better especially, but... Nice! That special attack race was fudge. This should do like 45 points of damage. That did 42. I was like, you know what? I just love that my calcs are usually spot on. Like, that's nice to see. Like, when I, when my internal, like, if I'm on my A game and I'm recording at night, bruh, my calcs are here. Um, so. Please be an ice type. Please be an ice type. Please be an ice type. Let's have an ice type. Let's be an ice type. Let's be an ice type. Glyscore is definitely not what I asked for. <laughs> that actually rhymed. The Glyscore and asked for. I mean, I just guess the OR. Duh. It's it's pretty easy to rhyme with OR. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, and say that. Oh my God, I'm so intelligent because I can rhyme with OR. Like no, OR is definitely an easy one to rhyme with. Um. Special. Let's go! Let's go. Ooh. Yikers! We better be faster, or this could be a problem. We should be faster. I mean, Scald, if, we, if we're faster and we don't kill... Oh, we're not faster. This will do at least 130 points of damage. Ah! That crit mattered! Gosh! Dang it! That crit so mattered. Oh, my God. Why, though? That's two mods that have died to crits already in the 8th Foundation. Yeah, we are going to have to take a cut. And, uh, ooh, I don't want to take a cut, but we're going to have to. Because this mod is actually going to create a massive issue now. Ludicolo! I love you! Oh, that sucks, though. Nick, hit this. Hit the Photom Geyser. Nice. It's not even going to do that much, though. It's going to do, like, 35%. Yep. <laughs> Gosh dang it. it. It lives this. It lives this hit. Sky attack also will hurt. I hurt myself in confusion. That didn't do a lot, but that's not like a big chunk of damage to really worry about. I'm gonna let you get me get hit with the sky attack and see what happens. Yeah, okay. That's what I, I anticipated that. Gonna photo my guys there again. Please kill the Gliscor. Let's go. That's what we needed. We needed the Gliscor dead. We got the Gliscor to die. trying to open up wormholes. Yeah, I know that. Ugh, that sucks. Okay, what am I going to do? What am I going to do to fix that issue and make it so that that doesn't happen again? There's really nothing I can do, is there? No, there really isn't. Like, I could. Like, I got to get through this section because I get cut off anyway. Oh boy. Okay, so. Hmm. So it's in here. Oh god. Nope, 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 nope. I entered the battle unintentionally. Dang heal. Gosh dang it. I am dumb. I, I did a big dumb. I did a big dumb. And we're fighting with how. Because it's a double battle. 
Each have one, though, so it should be okay. Because we have Hash Brown leading, and Hash Brown didn't get hurt. Registeel and Lu- Oh, God. No! Why are we doing perfect pairing double battles? Please, no. I don't like perfect parry double battles. Okay. Fiery Dance hits one opponent. Of course, Fire Punch does the same. Do we want to hit you with Fire Punch or Sacred Sword? I don't think we hit you with either because you're physically defensive. Or no, Reggie Rock's more physically defensive. You're like split defensively. So it doesn't necessarily matter what we do. I'm going to go ahead and King Shield though. I'm going to play it safe, kind of see what that Luminium wants to do. And if that Luminium wants to hit me physically, then uh, beautiful. Psychic. Oh no, why, why do you have one? Why do you have Psychic? Weird. But lowering that special defense is kind of helpful, not gonna lie. Water Sport? You just weaken Fire Moose, didn't you? Well, that answers our question on what we're gonna do. Oh no. They both set up on my King Shield. It's almost like they knew that that's what I was. I mean, it's, the, it's, it's max AI, but that's bad. Okay. Revelation Dance on. Okay. And it wasn't. Could have been one of like four types or whatever. Barbaric Electro Ball. Nice. Why didn't you do that from the start? Liquidation? Of course. You're going to attack me now that. Yep. Now that I didn't King Shield, you're going to attack me. Gosh dang it! Our team is dying! Uh, no! Our team is falling apart! There goes Hash Brown. Oh, this Registeel could have been a problem. Kind of did create a problem, but... Naturally, you have Liquidation, of all things. Like, the problem is, is that would have killed if I would have let it get too out of control, so. See, I told you, I sh this is why I wanted to make this one episode. It's because the Aether Foundation is always a struggle. It has never been something that I don't struggle with. So it would make, it that, like, if there's any place that would make an entertaining hour of power, it's this place. So... Because this is the place. This is the place that I always. I, I just can't win this place ever. Plus, it's like a big long gauntlet too. Oh my gosh, Hash Brown! Oh, naturally, I'm glad I looked. They healed us up. So who's all dead? So how item take? There we go. So we got Fitta, Joey, and Nick, and that's it. Wow. Okay. Fitta, Joey, and Nick. So one of our newbies did die then. D no, John. Because Hash Brown definitely wasn't a newbie. Uh, no, Hash Brown is the newbie that died. Or did both of our... Yeah, because Joey's the other newbie. Oh, boy. This is bad. Because we're going to be in a double battle. So who's more keen and fit for a double battle? I guess Nick. Well, Nick and Fitta. Fitta actually can attack in doubles battles way better, though. So I will go ahead and give Fitta this, the nod here. Yeah, I'm going to give Fitta the nod only because I know that Fitta can actually do some decent damage to everybody. Um, I know it's spread damage, and it could be detrimental to my partner, but... I oofed. I actually could have gone to the... Oh, wait. Did I actually go to the docks? Oh, no. I did go to the wrong spot. Oof. Um... Uh...
Um, okay, so I did give Fitta the nod, I believe. I think I did lead with Fitta. Watch this be like a terrible decision to lead with Fitta, and I'll be like, naturally. We've got Vanillux and Lapras. Oh, no. So, yeah, I did lead with Fitta. Nice. Okay, you got a Flareon. It's a shiny! There's so many shinies in this episode, actually. Like, the... That's actually kind of funny. Okay, I'm, I am going to go ahead and discharge. I think that's actually going to be my smartest play. Psychic gem? Okay! That still did nothing, but... Electro Ball on Fitta, probably. Yeah. That still does nothing. Good. Water Pledge. Wa... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> that would have gotten me any day of the week, to be fair. I really... Out of all the things I could paralyze, paralyze my teammate. Naturally. Okay. Ice school crash. Doesn't that hit both, or does that only hit me? They're just all doubling down on Fitta because they know Fitta is like the strongest. Why'd you target the Lapras? I've got a heal. Ah, Fitta. I'm just glad that Fitta's staying alive, considering Fitta is literally the Pokemon that needed needs to stay alive. Like, we've got replacements for most other Pokemon, not but not for Fitta. Ice School Crash is gonna go attack Fitta. So whoever they attack right now, whoever he attacks right now, he gets paralyzed. Gosh, I love this game so much. I swear, like, all of the hacks are just going against me lately. Other than that one burn, every single hacks that have happened have just gone in not my direction. As they double into my slot again. Dude, that crit would have killed. Okay. They both should die to this. Nice. Okay. Okay. Joey gets a level. We'll take it. Oh, boy. Okay, so. Yeah, so we're definitely going to need to go back. Deposit some Pokemon. Mm. Oh, hi, Wick. Oh, this is when we learned that they're... Yeah. <laughs> this is where... John, let me kill your Pokemon. Stop! I need to go to the Pokemon Center because I need to deposit Deadmons. Because I have lost three Pokemon in this episode. This is the deadliest episode. But... I can't even remember what I was going to name this episode. I literally said it in this episode. But I literally can't remember. Um, is there actually no way back right now? There better be a way back. I actually think my way back is cut off. No way. There's no way that my way back has been cut off. Mammo Swine, it's Bry, guys! It's Bry, the best person ever. Um, no, I love Bry so much, though. Like, I don't see Bry very often, but when I do, it just means that you're... Like, if you see Bry, it means you're gonna have a good day. That's that's what seeing Bry means. If, if you see Bry, it does mean that you're gonna have a fantastic day. People are gonna come up, say hi, love you, and all that stuff. Like, I miss Bry. But I also don't go live very often, which is my problem. Like, if I went live more, I'm sure I'd see Bry more, and that's how it worked. But because I'm not somebody who goes live and does stuff, it's just like... I I love creating video content. That's my thing. Like, I, if I could literally do... I know, like, streaming... like And streaming is a lot harder for me than uh, actual video content and video making. Um, oh, hi, Moltres. Um, that's still kind of an issue, but we'll handle that differently. But yeah, because 
I am definitely a much better video. Like, I feel like I'm doing a lot. Do a lot oh my god, Turbo Blaze. I do a lot better at video content creating, which I don't. I know it's weird because a lot of people love the live stuff, and I love it too, but I can't do it often. Unless I'm doing a super fun series, then I just. It's not something I can do very often. The other thing too is, like, work just completely destroys your, like, ability to really do that kind of stuff because I don't know about you. And I, I, I know that some people, like some creators know this, like Karai knows this, but like trying to work around a work schedule and stream as your primary like to do thing is a lot harder. Whereas video recording and video making, um, especially like for retail people like Karai and I, like, wow, Sunny Day does, th this is gonna be a problem. This is actually gonna be the biggest, one of the biggest issues actually that I've ever seen. Turbo blazing, Sunny Day, Moltres. Because at 1.5 and 1.5, they stack together. So all of the Moltres' fire moves, plus the stab, which is also 1.5, they all three of those, they stack. So the fact that this is not doing as much damage, I mean, it did a lot though. It did more than half. Like, a crit kills. Really much. Very much so. Ah. Uh, why does this most just, like, keep hitting this move? This is, like, a 70% accurate move, and it just keeps hitting. And that sun isn't going to go away anytime soon. We still got, like, three turns of it. I can't swap because I got nothing to swap into. Yay! It missed. Okay, that's what I needed. That's what I was waiting for was the miss. But yeah, so no. Like, and I know that I could etch out like some time. And I'm going to try to uh, etch out more streaming time. But like I said, with a schedule that's all over the place, it's definitely very hard. Um, especially when I want to create video content and have daily stuff like that. Because that, like, if you think about it, if I'm creating a daily video content, that's like 30 minutes a day. Editing it's probably about another hour. So that's an hour and a half. That's the length of a live stream. Then you go live. That's a two-hour event. So that's three and a half hours of my day. Um, eating up like that. Um, and then when you work like seven hours a day or eight hours, not a day, but like eight hours. Like, I, I mean, I, I don't work eight hours usually. Typically. Okay, please tell me. Yay, I'm not blocked off. Uh, but yeah, so let's say, like, on a, okay, so I typically work six hours. So that's six hours right there. So on the days that I work, that's six hours. And that's another four hours. So that's ten hours. Plus I have to eat um, all that and do a bunch of other stuff. Um, so that'd be 12 hours in total, probably. Um, but that also doesn't include doesn't include a lot of things like the setup um getting everything prepared the scheduling like and all the stuff that goes into it so definitely a hard situation um but i want like i said it's something i strive for and want to do at some point so hopefully i can at some point oh mega tyranitar will be missed Bruh. That's 12 dead. 13, 14 dead. It's below average, but that's still a lot. Okay, so we're definitely gonna have to grind. Um, so we'll do that. And then we'll get... Well, we'll pick the three mons, we'll grind, and I'll get see you guys momentarily. Um, hmm. Well, actually, let's pick the three mons. Okay. So for Mon number one. So, okay, I guess, Jen, we have five, six, and seven. So one through four is what's on the board. So generation one. God, they're not gonna learn any other moves. That's the problem.
Ah. I don't want a normal. I've got psychic and fighting on the team. Khalifa will turn into. Do I have a moon? I do have a moonstone. So Khalifa would turn into a Gen 1 Mon. I could, I could use Khalifa as Gen 1 when I train it up and stuff. Yeah. Okay, we're adding Khalifa. Because our Gen 2 arsenal is just not good at the moment. So, but Khalifa will turn into a Gen 1. I would like the addition to Sophie. Yeah, I would like an I would like Sophie probably. Sophie kind of seems like seems decent. It's dark. Oh, I just realized I added another fairy. I'm actually gonna remove Khalifa then, if that, because that gives us two fairies. Um. Oh my gosh, the thought process here is actually terrifying. Sudowoodo? Could we add Sudowoodo? Yes. Sudowoodo it is. That's Gen 4. Sophie for Gen 3. So now we just have a 1 or a 2 in our Gen 2 Mons. <laughs> Aren't looking that great. But... So we got a lot of options for Gen 1, though. And I think this is where we'd go ahead and add Mega Mewtwo. So, I'm going to go ahead and train up my team, and we will be right back. Okay, so we're back. Obviously, you can tell I'm in a completely different shirt. That's because... My dad decided that he was going to sleep at 8.30. There's a reason why I can't do a whole bunch of shit, especially while I'm at work and have a lot of work stuff, because, like, yeah, that happened. So, I did train up my team and got my team kind of set up and ready. So, let's go ahead and look at the three mons, because I completely forgot. I know the three mons that are on the team, I believe. Um, But, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and take a look. Oh. I forgot I had a mega. <laughs> uh, I forgot I had a mega. Because it was in the box. Because uh, megas have to be in the box and everything else. So, I should have checked my box. But, we got to go back anyway. So, that sucks. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I should have just checked, but I wanted this to be a little bit more of a surprise for me, too. Because I figured if it was a little bit more of a surprise for me, it would make it a little bit more interesting for you guys. Uh, we have so much stuff that we're still supposed to do. Like, this might be... I feel like we might be pulling a joy, but we're not going to... Of course, we're not going to pull a joy. It, um, I'm making a joke on the fact that she's, like, recording one spot, and then three weeks later goes to another spot. Um, But... Like, it's not a bad thing at all. Where? Oh, there he is. Okay. I'm like, where's Aaron? There. <laughs> okay, so I guess we'll do a team recap up here. Which, we've got. You guys already know about Fitta, Nick, and Joey. So, we don't need to do a recap on those three. We've got 
again with the Limber ability, Smackdown, Stealth, Rockstone, Edge, and Bulk Up, Generation 2 Pokemon. So currently that's 6, 5, 7, 2. Our Generation 3 Pokemon is Sophie with the Thick Fat ability, Brutal Swing, Dragon Claw, Darkest Larry, and Topsy Turvy for those Totem Pokemon. And then we got Aaron with the Psycho Cut, Cross Chop, Fan Attack, and Aqua Tail, also with Full Metal Body. I don't even know what that does. I think it does something. Uh, oh, it's like clear body. What's the ability that like reduces the amount of damage taken from super effective attacks? Um, Aaron has it on one of his Pokemon. Also, why does Gladion just appear here when the Aether Paradise dude is the one that drove you back? Like, it doesn't make sense for Gladion to be the one that just magically appears there. I made my coffee this morning. Let's just say it's amazing that I made it. So, anyway. And it makes no sense for Gladion to be there. If Gladion is not the one that's taking you into the boat, then why would he be the one that magically appears in Melee Melee um, Island? So, I don't think we fight Faba yet. So let's go back, let's go ahead and go to the entrance, the where we wanted to go, and kind of make the plays. Um, and with that, is Faba first, is Faba first? Faba might be first, crap. My, 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 what naughty children. You should just lay your heads down and wait. But I knew you would struggle onward. I could have seen it. I could see through every action that you would take. So I knew you'd try to reach the president, and this is why I would be able to ambush you in front of the mansion where the president remains and remedy the previous failures. The only reason I would let you to the lower floor is to buy time to gather more staffs, or more of my staff to stop you. <laughs> uh, Yeah, House is like, ha, ah, you dumbass. You told me where the president was. Yeah, good job. Gotta teach these children a lesson. Oh, no. We're fighting with Gladion first, right? Or are we fighting with Hal first? I believe it's with Gladion first. And then it's with Hal. Which, of course, it would be naturally that way. Ma Me oh, don't be Mega. Don't be Mega. Don't be Mega. Crap. Mega freaking mobile and we are with Gladian. Gladian is a pre-marina. Oh boy. Mega Mega mobile is a little bit of an issue. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, I don't like seeing Mega mobile I'm gonna go ahead and go into Aaron. Uh, duh, I'm going to Mega Mewtwo. Like, let's be fair. <laughs> it's a Mega Mewtwo. Why wouldn't I go into it? Um, Leaf Blade. Ooh. Okay. That might actually Oko. Oh my god, that actually almost did. Iron Head's gonna. Oh, Pre Marina. Why? Oh no. Wow, okay, they like completely targeted the Pre Marina. That's fine. Like, if you wanna hard target a Pre Marina, I'll let you do that. Uh, Braviary. Okay, we like Braviary. Okay. We actually really like Braviary in this situation, especially. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cross trap the Mawile. Hopefully the Mawile damaged heavily. Let's go. Okay. That's good. That's what we want to see. And the Braviary should... Ooh, Power Swap. Wait. That is the stat changes, right? Yeah, I'll stat changes. Okay. Happy hour. Okay, that's not what I wanted to see. That is not really what I wanted to see. But... It's sadly what we got to see. I'm gonna go ahead and kill the shift tree if I can. Nice, okay, bye. So we have down, we have just targeted down that one side, and that's kind of what we're gonna have to do in the fight with Baba. Um, unfortunately. But you gotta do what you have to do to win, so. You got to do what you have to do to win, so. Gonna go ahead and faint attack now since that's 100% accurate. Oh, actually, Cycle Cut is also 100% accurate. And that's also stab. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, ooh, Gladion makes a swap. 
I mean, hey, I'm okay with you hard swapping into one of my favorite Pokemon. Like, if you want to hard swap into one of my favorite Pokemon, as long as you don't be reckless, then I'm okay. Also, Gladion's team, though, not even gonna lie, I like his team. He had Pre-Marina, he had Braviary, and Togekiss. Like, that's a good moveset of people. Can you Nasty Plot? Please. Nasty Plot. Nasty Plot. Nasty Plot. Nasty Plot. Damn. I was hoping. Oh, no. Oh, boy. That is a mega Metagross. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and feign attack it because that's going to be my best option. This might be a little bit tough. I think that he's going to attack the uh, Togekiss, though. Hopefully, theoretically, he will. Smokescreen. Oh. Yeah. So, okay. Again, he's going to hard target down that Togekiss. Hey! Let's go! The white herb coming in handy, getting a clear with the flame charge, and that is going to do it for this battle. Wow! The freaking... Because he's going to be faster than the Metagross. Oh, I killed it anyway, but still. Wow! Let's go! Freaking, he knew it. He knew it, too. He's like, he's not going to attack me with a Steel-type move. He's just going to smoke screen me and try and lower my accuracy. And I've got a wire for that. Let's freaking go. That's awesome. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. Uh, I keep looking out my window and I don't know why. Like, you know, oh, it's, it's the flag. That's what it is. I'm like, I keep seeing this, like, these the white stripes of light. And I'm like, what is causing that? It's like, oh, well, that's because the flag is going back and forth. And it's actually sunny for once in a lifetime in Washington. Okay, we got to fight with how now. And we got Fabla's move. Come on. What are you going to lead with, Faba? So, it should be one. Oh, no, it's two. Okay, so he, they've got two, and the other dude's got six. Hmm. If I can hard target that other side. Oh, Frostlass and Wishy Wash. Oh. 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 Okay. That's a shiny Wishy Washy. <coughs> Okay, that's a Kieran Black. This is a little bit of a threatening situation. Luckily, the Kieran Black's on my side. Bob is gonna be all level 50s. Hmm. How do I want to play this? Okay, so I I think like that's gonna be hard to target down the wishy-washy and let the frost last kind of take care of everything because the frost last is a tough attacker um i am gonna go ahead and moon blast the wishy-washy because again i do want to kind of hard target down that side also that's kind of cool as a shiny wishy-washy but oh please attack the wishy-washy damn it you attack the slow reflect oh shit the wishy-washy's a setup mon Oh my gosh, she doesn't even do half. Dude, if we wish you wash, she's a setup mod to set up for some other crazy shenanigans. That does scare me incredibly. Earth power, Frost Last? Oh boy. That does nothing, surprisingly. Oh my god, you have light screen and reflect? Are you kidding me? You're literally a water type, but you've got both light screen and reflect. You, and you have the light, I bet. You probably have the light clay or something. Oh my god. Why do you have both screens? Like, you shouldn't be like that. You're freaking... It's not a psychic type. Like, I'd expect that coming out of a psychic type, but not... Oh boy. This might be... This is gonna do nothing now. Bug Buzz. Oh my god. Okay, that does nothing. You're not targeting me, thank god. Um, Bug Buzz. What is this thing's moveset? There's like no water type moves on this moveset. Okay, it's gone. Hmm. Fena at level 56. A scavalier. Oh no. Of course it's a scavalier. Um, I'm gonna go into I don't know what to go into. I'm gonna go ahead and go into Joey. So I've got no fire type, so I got nothing to deal with fire. Joey is the only thing that resists. Yeah, damn. Joey is the only mon that resists moves from that mon. Oh boy. 
I didn't realize how big of a threat a Scavalier was, but it's super effective on Fitta, Nick with Bug, again with Raw, or again, Aaron. Aaron is not super effective against, but it's neutral, I guess, I think. Um, but still, I want to play it safe. Uh, the Steel type I'm neutral against, but I'm also physically defensive. So, can use a Psychic? Please kill the Frost last. Damn it. Ancient Power, please. Don't be me. Don't be me. Don't be me. Nice. Okay. Kieran Black's getting it hard targeted, I'm assuming. Snarl. Oh, good. That attacks everybody on the field, but lowers special attack. So, positive vibes. Oh. Okay. Gonna go ahead and Storm Throw the Escavalier. It's neutral. But. Ah! Oh, you freaking. I, come on, how? You had one job. You literally had one job, and that was to kill the freaking Frost Last that was on the screen. Like, that was the one job you had, and you failed miserably at it. Ugh. I'm gonna Storm Throw again. I have to. Thank you. Oh my god, you You are a Kiram freaking black. Freaking Frostlass ain't that tanky. I'm sorry, but it ain't that tanky. Snarl. Guess with all the special attack drops, it is that tanky, but wow. I'm gonna go ahead and again, we're gonna kill this Cavalier. So we're gonna make this a. Let's go! We got that quick claw pop! And look at that. Okay, Storm Throw is gonna go ahead and annihilate that. Thank God. I don't like being in these high, weird, that this, the high levels is kind of scary. Okay, and then Kieran Black will go ahead and kill that. I did it again, sorry. I'm literally, yeah. I need to get, like, I need blackout curtains. And part of the reason why I need blackout curtains is that, but, like, I also don't need blackout curtains because your boy would actually stay awake. Ah! Uh huh. Oh, are you kidding me? Uh, gotta go into again. We have a rock type finally that we can deal with these these Pokemon, but that's not good. Because Papa still has five Mons on the docket here. Electro Ball is gonna do absolutely nothing. Uh, just kill the Karen Black, please. Gonna go ahead and Stone Edge. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and Stone Edge. I was thinking about Stealth Rocks, and I was like, John, if you do that, you stall a turn that you don't need to stall on a Ho-Oh. Because a Ho-Oh is very, very threatening. <laughs> Joey wants to learn Egg Bomb. Yeah, hell no. <laughs> yeah, no, not Og. Not doing that. Uh, Branch Chief Faba sends out, oh my god! Wishy-washy, like the full form wishy-washy, a Scavalier, Marshadow, Ho-Oh, and Frostlass are the first five mods we could fight in today's episode. What the heck? Dude, that's actually a problem for our team, though. I'm gonna go into Fitta, but that, that's a big issue for our team. Our team is not very well composed. And I don't like that. Cross shop, please, please decide you're killing this. Okay, how? I swear, bring something that's useful. That's not useful at all. That literally has no use whatsoever. And it ain't a mega. Oh my gosh, please kill. Thank you. I think that the Beedrill actually did. I think we killed it no matter what, but the Beedrill might have done the exact chip damage. Oh my gosh, again's level 56. Aaron's level 56. Okay, we'll take it, we'll take it, we'll take it. Avalug. Oh my god, all these tough Pokemon. Like, I was not ready to fight an onslaught of tough Pokemon. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm gonna be honest. I figured we'd be fighting 
something. I mean, it's John. Like, why would we not? Why would we be fighting something that's not, or that, that's not difficult? I guess that's to be fair. That's what is that? Was that Dragon Pulse? Icicle Crash. Oh boy. And you hard targeted me. Yeah, you hard targeted me with that. Okay. Understandable. I'm a Mega Mewtwo. Like, why wouldn't you? I'm gonna go ahead and cross drop the Avalok. That should kill the Avalok if we hit. Nice. We'll take that. We will take that. The next Mon to come out after Beedrill fails his move. Ugh, like, I, I'm actually in a tough, rough, a rough and tough spot. Who wants to learn Hurricane? Sophie does. Yeah, I know, Sophie. I can't have you be learning than that. I, that's a good move, but... Oh, Toxapex? We're literally going to deal with the hard staller of all staller Pokemon. Sh really? This should do a lot, though. I assume this is going to do like 54%. Oh my god, that O-Code. Okay. We want to make a Mewtwo. Why am I thinking we wouldn't O-Code with it? But let's see. Final Mon is... A oh god. Darkrai. Cross-top should kill. Cause you're you're frail. As long as we hit Ah we missed! Pursuit. Oh, so if it would have swapped, that would have done way more damage. Okay. So I have to stay in because of the pursuit. Because if I don't stay in, I actually put myself in more jeopardy. Sucker punch. Oh no. That was oh my god! That did a lot to that B drill. I mean, I'm not surprised, but there we go. Dark Rise down. Thank God. Okay, we got that taken care of. And we're gonna continue moving forward. Moving on up. Moving on up. Lot of ruin. That is probably aromatis. Yeah. No. I'm not learning a move that does half recoil damage. That's way too much recoil. And now we... Oh my god, we still have... The fact of the matter is, this might actually be a two-hour of power. Like, because we still have a fight with... Guzma. On top of that, we have a fight with... The Aether... Fo or the Aether... The, the guy... The... 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 Stu the trooper dudes. Um... And then we have the Lusamine battle on top of that. So we got all of those, like, on top of each other. I probably got healed, but I'm going to double check. Okay, good. I did. I was like, I just need to double check this real quick. So, yeah, we got to do the go Damn. And I have to go to work in, like, a little bit. That's, like, ridiculous. Because I, I worked 220 to 830 today. So I still have, so I've got how many minutes left to go to work? Like 30? Oh, you know, 30 minutes is when I have to be there. I have to leave at 205. So literally I have to, I'll have to do the battle. I'm gonna have to recover the Mega in the way that you have to recover Megas. That sucks, but what do you gotta do? So. That looks like a shiny, but I, I, I like that look. Not even gonna lie, that look is amazing. No, I don't even know. I don't even know what to go in. I'm gonna go into it again, and again should be able to kill this again. Um, my phone. I should have been charging my phone, but my dumbass didn't do that. Also, by the way, so in the last two days, now we're up, we're up to three subscribers left in order to get monetization. Three. It's insane to me that we're getting, we're so low on the amount that's left. Like, it does not feel that way at all. And the fact that it is that way is just freaking insane. Um... Like, we, we basically did it, guys. Everybody, we we basically did it. Oh, God, Coil. 
And my dance off. <laughs> this is ridiculous. But anyway. Accuracy, no! Hit and kill, please. Oh my god, that didn't even kill! You literally are a freaking pseudo You should be fine. At least you're defensive enough to tank hits, but... Literally gonna end the, end this segment off from when I beat freaking what's his face? When I beat uh, Guzma, that's when this section will end probably. Yes, I just use a max potion for that, like a. But yeah, I think that's a good time for the end to end the section is after Guzma because there's another 6v6 that I have to accomplish and there's no way that I can accomplish that. Like, within itself. And then there, and that's actually two more 6v6s that I have to take care of after that, so. And I know that there's no way of that happening because I still have to get ready for work and go to work and actually be a freaking member of society as much as I don't want to be. Wait, you're not a grass. I always think you're a grass dark type, and you're not. It doesn't really matter because I can stay in Moonblast and either way, but it's not gonna kill. Instead, it's gonna do like, yeah. Oh my god, it wouldn't have killed anyway. Cotton Guard. Well, I'm glad I didn't swap. I guess. Oh my gosh. This is a three KO, so. Ah, Ice Beam, okay. I'm not actually that threatened. Like, I, I see crazy moves and I'm like, oh no, that's bad, but then I'm like, mm, not really. Like, it's not all that bad, to be fair, so. Rising Star Grunt. All our strength and money that we've gotten. Here's another $1,500. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, no, this is definitely gonna be a two hour power. Insane. Insane to think that we're about to have a two-hour power. Just because we still have a whole onslaught of things we have to do. Bump, 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 bottom, bump, 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 bottom, bump. Okay, come on, Guzma. You're the most hated boss, clearly. Oh my gosh, okay. Teams, again, Team Skull is the rough, the ruffians that are killing everything. Aether did kill a little bit though. Okay, Guzma. You always find a way to get through my team, which scares me considering I still have some more 66 battles. So I need to get through your battle relatively unscathed in order to, you know, be in a good spot. Uh, Skun Tank is not the best way to start this fight. Poison Dark, which means it's only, oh my gosh. It's not even weak to fighting. It's not weak, oh my gosh. That's actually brilliant. I love that typing. Um, I can't stay in. I'm going to go... Gonna go into Joey. Joey has some uh, some decent fighting type stab. He's got some normal stab as well, but oh, no poison type move to start. You're just going for Razor Shell, which didn't do that much, so we're okay in that aspect. We definitely that's a three KO though. So I gotta be mindful of that. We're good. Okay, so we got through. We got through the the lead mod, which just makes sense. His ace is gonna be level fifty three, so or fifty two or something like that. Fifty two or fifty three. Um, I do know that Lusa means like fifty four across the board. So this is not even. Oh no, Lucario. That, that's like, 
the ultimate scare tactic. Mon. Gonna go into Aaron. Because it, it could be Mega Lucario right now. You never know. It could be pure power Mega Lucario. So I'm gonna go in. Hopefully it's not a Mega Lucario. But it totally could be. It's not. Okay, thank goodness. Unless he Mega Evolves, which is very... It's unlikely. Nice. That should Oko. Easy, easy, easy. Let's go. Okay. And then... Oh, boy. Exactor. Could be regular or a low lid. I would assume that it's regular just based on the fact that he brought it out. Go into Sophie. Sophie's gonna make her debut appearance. Okay. Oh, it's a low lit executor. Naturally. Oh, we still have Dragon Claw for that, though. So actually, Sophie was the best way to handle either. Oh, no. Why do you have one? Why do you have Bug Buzz? Two, why in that world are you actually faster than me? I actually can't stay in. I literally have the inability to stay in on this. Okay, I'm going to fed up. Oh boy, okay. Oh no! He popped a swoop! Oh no, why'd you pop a swap? I'm gonna discharge. Stone Edge does nothing. Oh my god, that was crit. Okay, that's why. I'm like, I know you don't have huge power anymore, but if you had huge power, that would have been me dead. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, discharge again, because that, that was a crit that would have. That did that much, and a crit still doesn't kill. And that should that should kill the Zoomerl. Zoomerl's gone. Okay, it's off the, it's off the table. We're good. Level 57 for Joey. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Soul Rock. Oh, boy. Soul Rock. Gonna go into Nick. Ah! Seeing the tirade that my team is, like, in right now is... It's very scary! But... Moon Guys Beam, please. That should be enough. Nice. Okay, that's an Oko. That's what we need to see. We need to see more like that, for sure. And the Executor is coming back out. Okay. I still don't have anything for it, but at least we know what kind of Executor it is. But it has Bug Buzz, so I'm gonna go into Fitta again. And we're gonna heal Fitta. Uh, this not knowing like how to handle or do what a specific task is definitely getting to me right now. Because I'm definitely somebody who wants to, like, exact know what's going on, how to handle it, how to control the situation. But, like, you can't. That still is a lot. Oh, my gosh. A special, a special defense drop would have set me would have set me back in swapping. Oh, my gosh. You're so fast. Why is this in this so fast? No special defense drop. No special defense drop. Okay. We can still heal that off. We're fine. Hopefully that should kill. Yeah. No enters out. No enters out. No enters out. Okay. Oh my gosh. Aaron's level 57. Aaron wants to learn Earthquake! Let's go. This earth shattering freaking move. We're going to go ahead and get rid of Faint Attack for Earthquake. That's, that's so important, especially for the fact that it's a Mega Mewtwo. I just learned it. So, whew. Okay. Infernape. Oh, speaking of <laughs> speaking of earthquake. <laughs> speaking of earthquake. 
Speaking of not having a way to handle this mod otherwise, that was really perfect timing. Um. And this Infernape is going to go ahead. Oh my gosh, we literally have all of the methods of handling this thing. Water, Psychic, and Ground. That should Oko the Infernape instantaneously. So... Should we fight? Yeah, we can fight Solaria. I don't see why not. That's actually a bad, I feel like a better place to end it, too. We'll see. Hopefully, Solaria is just gonna be nice and not have me in a stall war, but it is Solaria, and we never know what will happen until it happens. Um, I'm gonna definitely lead with Mega. Like, hopefully, Aaron can just kind of do this battle and, like, Oko everything. That would be my best case scenario. Because I can totally... I still have the time. That's... But, like... Getting air in that experience is going to be nice. Okay. It's been some time since we've last met Troll Goer. I don't know anything... Oh, wait. I, I haven't been reading text this entire time. Why am I reading it now? Like, I'm reading it now that I'm, like, in a tough spot. And it's, like, a two-hour of power, but whatever. They only seem worried about Cosmog's safety. Yeah, um, Cosmog's safety is what we're worried about. I will battle you with our Ultra Beast Bible! Even though you don't have one. If you, actually, you could have it, to be fair. You could totally have a Nagonadel. Um, Ultra Squad and Research Solaria is going to start out with a Corsola. That's actually kind of funny considering that Corsola is like a really good main state Pokemon in the freaking Aether Paradise. So it's kind of funny that she leads with that. Level 54, as anticipated. I told you this stuff doesn't get, that, that this stuff does get harder. There's a very big proof of that. She's, that, does that mean that freaking, what's her face is going to be level 57 or something? Like... You're not level 54? Is Cor Corsola's not faster. What am I thinking? Is Corsola faster than us? No, John. Corsola ain't faster than you. Of course it's not. Um, Super effective. Corsola faints. One Mon down. Next level 57. We'll take it. We love it. Okay. Sceptile. Oh, God. This could be making Sceptile. Well, so much for Aaron being able to take care and take control of every scenario. Um, if it's a regular Sceptile, I, Grass, I'm surprised that Grass types give me the, the trouble that they do. Um, I'm going to say it. It is a regular Sceptile. Okay. I'm going to cross, or I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to cross chat. That seems like the better play. Nice. Okay, we do handle it. Because we're, I mean, we're making Mewtwo, so I would hope we handle it. And we got a good moveset, too, so I'm down with that. Uh, Kabutops. We're staying in on that. Guaranteed. Um, also, I'm going to go ahead and Earthquake it. Because Earthquake will kill. Or should kill. You're not defensive like Corsola. Yeah, let's go. Dude, Mega Mewtwo's going to carry. Mega Mewtwo's going to carry. Not even going to lie. We found we have our carry on. Mudsdale. I'm staying in. We have uh, Aqua Tail. Wow. Okay. This is exactly kind of what I was hoping would happen. So. Blah. Oh my god. That did nothing. Okay. Never mind. You don't have a stamina though. So. Hmm. That actually did nothing. That like shows how thick Mudsdale is though. Like. If an Aqua Tail... Oh, that actually was a min-max roll. Okay, that's why. But still. If it takes two hits... Meganium. Where do I want to go with this? Um, Again, it's another Grass-type. I'm going to keep battling. But Meganium will definitely take two hits to kill. Guaranteed. 100%. There's no way that I'm one-shotting this thing. As we miss. Okay, extra sensory. Ooh, how much damage? This is neutral. 
Does nothing. Okay, we're good. We're defensive enough to take it. Gonna go ahead and Psycho Cut that. If Cross Shot missed. Spiky Shield. Oh, gosh. And as anticipated, it does take two hits. Uh, because that's my best move, is cross chop. Like, for sure. Spiky shield. Oh, no! You healed. No idea what you would have used with negative priority. I mean, we just used it wasn't negative priority. Um, Aaron's level 58. Should have 210 HP now. 209. Look at that attack stat, though. 234 is freaking massive. Um, ditto. Oh. Joey, get out here. And then... You shouldn't transform Mold Breaker. Okay, good. Gotta go ahead and Storm Throw. This should Oko, right? You're freaking ditto. Nice. Okay. Beautiful. So, on that note, I will be getting ready for work. And you will be seeing the freaking final couple, the final battle when I get back. Um... And I'll have to fix, I know, I'll have to fix Mega Mewtwo, unfortunately. But yeah, sorry, I just full screened it with F11, so. Okay, anyway, sorry. Um, but yeah, we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back with this final section of today's episode. This episode took way longer to make. And again, mind you, the reason why this episode took so much longer to make is because this is basically four episodes in one episode. <laughs> so, you guys are getting some special. Because you guys are getting four, basically four episodes in one. So, maybe even technically more considering that I record in like 26 episodes stents. Or 26, uh, not, ep oh my god. If I recorded in 26 episodes stents, I would literally freak out. But, No. Because I record in 26 minute sense, like for the episodes, each episode's 26 minutes. So like if I'm in a recording session with four episodes, I can get a week done in like two hours. So <laughs> this is like a week's worth of content in one video. It's kind of crazy, but it'll be fun. That's what matters. It'll get edited tonight so that it can go up tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so Honestly, this is the luckily this is the final fight that we have to worry about. But Lusamine is going to be a problem, a pain in the butt. We all know it. It's Lusamine. If it, Lusamine is not a pain in the butt, then what really is it? Um, yeah, this is really the 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 pinnacle of this place. Like last time, I actually fought her. I actually got almost wiped. She killed, well, actually, well, I'm talking, like, in a series like this, um, she took out five of my mons with a freaking Primal Groudon, so let's hope that doesn't happen, um, let's go ahead and adjust the team, I definitely don't want, I don't know who I want to be in the lead, um, I definitely feel like Sophie being in the lead is a terrible idea, um, hmm. I like this. I like having Fitta in the lead, honestly. Uh, where is it? There's Fitta. I like having Fitta in the lead, so that's what we're gonna go with. I like how Lily literally doesn't know anything about this place. She's like, "What? what's going on? What is this place? And it's just like, you've lived here how long and you don't know about this place? Like, she 
lose me really just out here like i need to go grab some milk real quick and then hides in this room for like <laughs> ages and then comes back and she's like hi daughter how are you hopefully you're having a fantastic day even though you like haven't seen me in like over a week <laughs> like i swear that's what it is um dude imagine i couldn't uh doesn't everybody pop up here oh yeah because it's a uh, ultra moon so ev literally everybody because then guzma's gonna pop up Audience gonna pop up. Literally everyone's gonna be like, oh hey, how's everybody going? Even Guzma couldn't stop children. No, because Guzma's terrible. Guzma will not ever stop a few children. <laughs> I was just like, what? Like, how do you not see the resemblance though? How like Literally, how does How not see the resemblance, resemblance of this entire family line? Like, oh my god, you're actually, like, siblings? No, what? It's not like anybody would have guessed that from the beginning of the game. Um, like, to be fair, it is something that was very a very easy assumption at the beginning of the game. Like, I don't know how you could tell. It was like, oh, once... Because... Daughters and sons or siblings diverge and divulge into different paths, right? So it's not like every sibling is going to go on the same path. So, like, I guess, maybe. But, like, you get a lot of side-by-sides. Like, or you get a couple side-by-sides with Lucy, or Lucy, with um, Lily and Gladion. So you would think that it'd be fine. Or you'd be like, they're close to each other, so like, you see Gladion, and then like, a little bit later, you see Lily, so yeah, I get it. Like I said, it's one thing that I would resist. Like, I would uh, assume that that would be the case. But, you know what? It's, I guess, the knowledge of a 10-year-old is a lot lower than I would have anticipated. Oh, I'm going to have to listen. I haven't listened to Lucy Means Theme, so I'll actually get to listen to it in its actualities for, the, like, the first time. Um, I wonder if it's the same as a normal. Like, if it's, like, an Aether Paradise theme, like, kind of like Faba's, or is Lucy Means going to have something different? It's different. Oh, I need to turn it up. Dun, 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 dun. Gee, that violin, no. Oh my god, you're you're leading with the ugliest fish in the universe. Okay. That's fine. You can leave with you can leave with ugly fish all you want to. Because if you leave with ugly fish, I have discharge for that. Bye, ugly fish. Actually, this should not Oko. If it Oko's ugly fish, I'm gonna laugh. It should do like half. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Now to the lower side of half, unfortunately. But like it did exactly as anticipated. So maybe a min-max roll, hopefully? Maybe? Probably not, but I'm gonna pretend like. Yeah. Psychic. Hey, I mean, at least you have a strong move, even though you're a physical attacker. You're gonna heal, aren't you? The immediate heal? No! Okay, you preserved it. I mean it makes sense, I would say, like. If you're gonna preserve it, might as well. Um, experience, experience, experience. Cryogonal. Ooh. That, I'm gonna go ahead and let Joey handle. Joey's gonna take care of that. Joey can storm throw kill it fairly easily. Um, I just wanna get like other mods except for Mega Mewtwo involved. Like, cause Mega Mewtwo is literally a Mega Mewtwo. Like, if I, yeah, like. Of course, I could get involved and win, but, like, I still want the challenge, even though we haven't making me. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> I mean, that luckily is fine, but, yeah, Cryo goes away. Are you just, like, a Fire Flake instead of a Snowflake? My golly, G. Whitakers. Um, let's see. That's, well, we're basically screwed there. Joey can't come out, but that's okay, because we have backup.
Guzzlord? Dark Dragon, that's fine. We can go into Feta. Dude, you have a Guzzy. You got a Guzzlord. Hopefully Guzzlord doesn't have anything too insane. Please be shiny. Darn. Let's see. I mean, that's hilarious that you actually have an Ultra Beast. Not even going to lie. Like, that is great. Um, dark type. I'm uh, expecting the dark type move. Or a non-stab. One of the two. Takedown. So, the non-stab. Which is fine because now that it missed, we can go ahead and Moonblast. It's quite effective. It should do, like, 68 or, like, 70 to 80 percent. I don't think it kills, but it does, like, a lot. Oh, shoot, it does kill. Okay. I mean, it makes sense. It's quite effective, but... I mean, I just figured with the, the amount of a tank that Guzzlord is, it might not have killed. So, I was preparing for that. What else do we got? Again, it's level 58. Nice. Tapu Lele. Okay. You know, we're having fun. We're having a good time. Okay, actually, Tapu Lele is a Tapu... Luffy. Um... Capillary the problem. Okay. I would have never thought it was. I'm gonna go into it again. Oh boy. This actually could this depending on what Tapu Lele has, this could be a problem. Okay. I I'm nervous for this Tapu Lele. Pedal oh my god. Well, pedal dance, that destroys again. Um, well, that's another death. Um, that's Gen 2 as well, naturally. So we're, we're running low on that. For sure. Um. Pedal dance, huh? You had the coverage move. Okay. We're gonna go to Nick. Even though Nick... Moon guy. Oh, oh my god. I didn't know Moon Guy's being super effective. Gosh, dang it. If this O goes, I'm gonna be sad. I just hope for the sake of everything that it doesn't. Yeah, okay, that just. And how much out of how much? 93 out of 167. So, so only a crit would kill me? Okay, please don't. Nick's been on the team for way too long to get crit death. Okay. That will kill Lele. Lele goes down. We got two mods left. Token of Mario. Um. Aaron, get out here. We're gonna earthquake it. Earthquake will do the trick there. Um, it's quite effective, so if it didn't do the trick, I'd be a little scared, but. Okay. Uh, earthquake should Oko, because, oh my god, it's the, it's the totem token of Mario. That's like, I like totem, totem, the totem Pokemon, like when they just show up out of nowhere. Um, but, let's see here. We got one more Mon remaining on the team. And it is a Xerneas. No. No. That's not good at all. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, Feta. Hey, shiny Xerneas. Um... Oh, no. Fitta. Okay. You're going to have to do good. If you don't do good, we're in trouble. Hydro Pump. Oh. Okay. That's fine. Uh. Uh. Okay. Maybe not. Because we literally have no way of doing damage to you at all. Three Mons are weak to you. And the other Mons can't touch you. Oh, boy. If this thing has any form of setup, we could be screwed. 
any form of setup and our 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 lock could end to this. A crit doesn't kill, so we're fine there. Maybe a crit would have killed. Oh boy. Ah! I want Moonblast to drop the special attack. It's just not going to. Oh boy. Okay. Hydro. It's it's just going for Hydro Pump. Which, again, I'm not complaining. It can go for, that's Hydro Pump number four. I wonder if it's like choice. Oh boy, ah, I did a lot, let's not. Um, yeah, I wonder, it might, it could totally be choice. I have one more hit that I need to get off on it. I have to heal. It's going to hit me with a flail. It's, Preserving its Hydro Pump. Oh, that could actually be bad. I need it to kill, like, right now. If it doesn't kill, Flail's gonna do more damage. Okay, good. Oh, I just, I had realized that Flail's gonna, like, freaking destroy me if I didn't, if it lived on one. We got a Lucimine out of the way, thank gosh. Okay. And on that very note, we're going to have to just talk about the couple cut scenes. But, yeah, we're going to go to Pony Island. And we're on the final island of this Let's Play. And, you know, being on the final island, it's definitely crazy. Knowing that our totems that we have left literally is 2 and Ultra Necrozma. It's gonna be level 66. It is definitely worrisome. It's very worrisome that that's the case, but. Ugh. Right now we're gonna get Cosmoe, um But mm. I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of kind of conspicuous actions. That could lead to devastation. You're all unharmed. Yes, Wick. You should get a rain on Lucamine, though. You literally hang out with her all the time. When Solarian Psycho are just like, yeah, we, we trusted the wrong person. Definitely not on purpose. It's like, yeah, there's a, re like, uh, yeah, Solaria. Yeah, like, there's a reason why I don't like you. Um, yeah, the Ultra Megalopolis. Yes, the Ultra Megalopolis. You mean the place that people lose Nuzlocke all the time? Like, yeah, I love that place so very much. It's my freaking favorite place in the whole wide world. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with the, for the Ultra Megalopolis if we're going to go ahead and uh, decide whether or not... I mean, we're going to do some training anyway, so like... And I'm not that far behind uh, because I shortened the gap, which is a, probably a very smart idea that I did that. That shortened the gap between the two, so that therefore, like when I go to the Ultra Megalopolis, yeah, it'll still be a challenge per se. But after the Ultra Megalopolis, it's not like, oh, well, the rest of the game's super easy. So because and so I I I I think that's a good idea because literally, in the normal game, the Elite Four is basically the same level as the Ultra Megalopolis. But yeah, you have so much more to do still in the game, so it doesn't make any sense at all that that's the case. 
And so if I level, since I level boosted it the way I did, it literally, like I said, it makes the Elite Four level 70s. So we still have a challenge and still have a lot that we're going to have to be doing. Um, which is definitely, I think, something that fits ultimately better. <clears throat> but we're going to go ahead and go... Here, take this with you. Yay, we got a Master Ball. Now if we get a Legendary Encounter, then we can catch it guaranteed. Even though we have a Mega Mewtwo X named Aaron because he's the strong boy. Gosh dang it, how you... I almost called you Hop. Holy cannoli. I literally almost called him Hop. And I, I heard it coming a mile away. I was, like, I was gonna be like, gosh dang it, Hop. And I was like, nope, that's how. I, again, I don't think I'm ever going to not do that. I think that's going to happen, like, all the time. I want to save Lily and Cosmog so we can be a seeing and be much stronger. That's how I feel. I'm going to chase down something, something, something. I'm sorry. Uh, like, I, I feel like Gladion's, like, has the right to apologize. Gladion's like, I just dragged you into a bunch of family drama. And, like, yeah. I was like, yeah, I, yeah, good job, Gladion. I appreciate it. And you made me fight. Second off, you have six Pokemon as well, Gladion. And maybe the strongest, but you also have six Pokemon. Just saying. Um, I oh shoot, it's the other way. <laughs> hey, at least I figured it out. Oh, I went, the, I'm like, oh, I went the wrong way. Um. Oh my gosh, isn't that quite a change? You mean Lily or how? Like, really, realistically, that's a good question. Time to go to the Doc Rooney's. But yeah, so the Docs will send me over this way to uh, Alola, or to uh, the last island. And once we get there, go through that cutscene, we are going to end this probably close to two hours of power. Which is kind of insane to think about. It might be more like an hour and 40, an hour and 50, but still, like, that's a long video. But I also do want to say, thank you so much for getting us ever so closer to 1k. Um, once this video goes out, we're at 997. Um, by the time the video goes out, we could even be at 1K. Who knows? Um, but we have everything, and this 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 has been amazing. It's been great. I can't wait to start Saga Lock here soon because we're almost there. I I I would almost venture to say we've got maybe two more weeks of this series, which is really insane and heavy uh, to say the least that we have about which would be eight episodes i would say we have eight to eight to twelve episodes left like kind of insane for sure, and I just Soglock is gonna be an interesting series, um, and there's gonna be a lot of new kind of placements and everything, and yeah, I like videos for Soglock are gonna be a lot shorter, and I don't know if that's gonna how that because it's it's basically another tax test series, um, it really is, and so. Yeah, we will really 
really kind of find out what what the case is and what the case shall be. But yeah, no, I just like I said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. We're gonna put our mod in the box and we will see you in the next episode where we go ahead and start doing some other fun activities. Peace out, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed this two hour of power. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Get us to 1K. Peace.